G'day guys, what's going on and welcome to this episode. I'm Miles and Crystal's behind the camera and we're from Family Escape Australia. GoRV reached out to us to do a bit of a TV review for them. It's an Anglon 24 inch LED smart TV with some pretty cool features we think. So um, we've been having troubles with our smart TV in the caravan and we thought why not, we'll give this a go and we can uh, help some people out trying to make decisions um, that are looking at reviews. So what we'll do is we'll do a bit of an unboxing video how to mount it, um, so take the TV off the old mount and put it on to the new TV and an initial setup and a bit of a how-to guide on what we think of the TV and some of the features that it comes with. So let's get into it and we'll uh, start the unboxing. So initial packaging looks really well, this is how it was delivered, a uh, nice little carry handle on the box, fragile stickers all over it with a front and a back, uh, plenty of tape. We're going to use the manual with the remote and power plugs, 240 volt power as well. Plenty of protection in the packaging which is good. The adapter for 240 volt power and we got the TV stands as well. There we go, pretty nice looking TV. little feet come in their own little bag um, which is nice plenty of protection packaging on them too which... looks like they do have screws that go through and hold them in if you wish to use them that way they just slip straight in nice and easy slip straight into the hole uh, and then there's a screw that goes through the bottom Alright, so we just pulled the mount off and there is a considerable weight difference with the TVs to note as well. Uh, this one here weighs less than 3 kilos. Um, I'm not sure the technical specs on this, but it feels at least maybe a kilo to 2 kilos heavier, so... Which is surprising, I wasn't expecting it to be that much. So yeah, weight wise, it's always good to save weight where you can. So yeah, it's just 4 screws for our mount and it'll just go straight back on the back of the TV and use the inner holes because it looks like it fits... Um, several different stud patterns for TVs, which is good. Make sure you always put your mount on the right way up. Um, ours is a wedge-based mount, so obviously you don't want to put the TV on upside down. So yeah, make sure your mount always goes on the right way. Pretty easy to pull it out, just four screws. Uh, four screws to put it back in. And just firm, you don't want to go reefing on it and break things. Uh, always start your threads with your fingers. Uh, that prevents cross-threading and that because you're not going to be able to cross-thread something uh, when you're doing it up finger tight and then just use the screwdriver to finish it off. Okay, so now we've got it uh, hung up and installed, plugged in, ready to go, so we'll turn it on and run you through the initial setup. Alright, so we want to repair the remote to the TV now, and what we'll do to do that, so it says push the back button plus the down volume button for three seconds, and we should get a light flash at the top. That's in pairing mode. The remote's popped up the top there. We'll select to pair it. And there we go, so it's connected. The light's gone to solid red and then off. So we'll try and add the Google TV to our uh, Google Home. Alright, so we'll skip this step and we'll come back to it later. Um, we've tried and it hasn't really worked, so uh, we'll do it once we've got the TV up and running and the TV's connected to the Wi-Fi. It'll um, hopefully work then. 
So we'll log on to our Wi-Fi. Put your password in. So connect it to the internet. Um, check for updates. Wi-Fi connection may result in high usage. Yep, that's okay. Uh, accept the network privacy policy. I always run out of use it. <laughs> Alright, so now we're up to signing into our Google account. So we'll do that. So pretty much now we're just setting up so Google can access all the apps um, on the TV. So we'll allow that. Get personal results. I'll say no thanks. Get most apps over the emails. No, thank you. So we'll install the following apps. Uh, we won't install, we got the digital TV one on our phones, we don't use Disney Plus, uh, we don't need Spotify on the TV. So we'll just leave those and continue. Walk through some of the features on the TV. So you can get apps from the Google Play Store. Use Google Assistant to control it, um, which is a pretty cool feature, we think. And you can cast your phone to your TV, that's another one um, there as well, because we've all got Androids, so it works really well for us. So select our region and country. So choose a password. Uh, so we'll set up our time zone, so we're in SA at the moment. Uh, this is setting up so it's in home mode is what you want to choose. Uh, yep, we'll turn this feature on which is pretty cool so we can use our Google Home to turn the TV on and off. So we'll turn that on. Um, that will use higher energy consumption but that's okay. Uh, we'll do a digital and analog channel scan finish the setup. So we just finished scanning all the channels uh, and now it says setup is complete, enjoy. So we'll finish that and have a look what it looks like. And that's what the initial home screen looks like so we'll have a bit of a look around and a bit of a play with it now. Open Netflix. Opening Netflix. So it's a pretty cool function being able to use Google. Because uh, we're signed in with Google already, all our passwords are remembered too, which is handy um, to use your Google account. So everything just signs back in once we open it. So pitch, uh, the pitch quality looks really good. Sounds really good so far, so um, we'll have a bit more of a play around with it. Initial thoughts are it's a really good TV. Very happy with the picture quality. Sounds pretty good so far. Uh, we'll have a bit more of a play around with it, use some of the other features of the TV and um, drop it in after we've had the initial play, but initial thoughts, uh, good value for money for what the TVs that come with. Another good feature of the remote is if you don't have Google Home uh, or Google set up, you've got some quick buttons on the remote here so you can flick between uh, things like Netflix or YouTube. So if we hit the YouTube button, the TV will go straight to the YouTube app which is another good feature of the remote. The remote's nice and lightweight and uh, good uh, ergonomics, I think you'd call it maybe. Uh, it hand, holds in the hand really well. Uh, and we put these Velcro dots on the back because we store our remote on the wall uh, just with the two sticky dots. So we might try and pair the stereo. Um, let's turn that on. So everyone's radio is different. Ours is a Fusion stereo. So I've pretty much gone into the Bluetooth manual and um, the Bluetooth function of the radio and made the radio discoverable and now we'll try and find it on the TV. So we'll head over into the settings menu up the top here. So we'll go remotes and accessories uh, down the bottom there. And we want to add a Bluetooth accessory. So you see the Bluetooth symbol up the top there. 
So now it's in pairing mode again. We've got the radio on discoverable, so hopefully the TV will pick it up. So that's the radio popped up. That's the name of our head unit in the van. So we'll just select that and hopefully it'll pair to it and then we'll give it a test. And there we go. So you can see the radio has paired successfully up the top. So now we might just try some live TV and see what channels we picked up. So there you go, it's working. Uh, the sound's coming through our speakers in the caravan now. Speed, they thin our blood in a different... Which is pretty cool. So we can control this um, from up beside the bed, or up here, or on the TV remote. Um, which is a good feature for us to be able to have uh, the head units neck, or the controls there. But you can also see that if we use the remote control, So we can control the radio from the TV remote, which is another pretty cool feature that works with it all. So as you can see, if I adjust the volume on the TV, uh, we'll come up here, you can see the volume increasing up here. So that's good that we can control the volume um, on the speakers with the TV remote and not have to get out of bed. All right, guys, that's it. Let's do a bit of a summary on this thing. It's a great TV, as you can see. Plenty of app functionality on the home screen and you can continue to build that to however you want it and it will grow uh, with you as you want. The ability to use voice control through our Google Home system is an excellent function on this TV. We absolutely love it. Being able to turn the TV on and off, lying in bed without even getting up and getting the remote is a great functionality. Uh, it's just great to have something that's, you know, when you live in a caravan to have something that's this advanced with technology, it's really good and it makes it feel like you're still at home which is a great feature. And Glion is one of the first Google certified TVs here in Australia. It's running Android 11 operating software technology inside it. It's got built-in Chromecast functionality uh, and you can access, uh, and you can access heaps of apps on, on the uh, TV itself through Google, the Google store. Um, you know, apps like Netflix, YouTube, Prime TV, Disney, Foxtel, and heaps more. Uh, all you do is go through the Google Play Store to download them. So yeah, it's got the voice activator remote, which is another great function. Dolby Audio is running through the TV as well, uh, and it's got a net weight of 2.3 kilos. Again, if you have any more troubles, you can head over to their website. There's heaps of startup videos on there that can help you out. Uh, and if you still can't find what you want, you can always give their customer service a bell. Again, thanks for watching this one, guys. Hopefully you got something out of it, uh, and we'll see you next time.